Hey guys, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. This is Survival Bomb, and uh, today we're gonna be working on a mining outpost. So uh, we gotta start here in the anomaly, and uh, we gotta buy a few things. All right, so you're gonna need some salvage data. Uh, I've got a butt ton of it, because uh, I've been running around on planets for a while, and I've been saving it up for this. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna come back here and uh, buy a few things. Now guys, uh, sorry I haven't done an episode lately. If you didn't know, um, about 10 days ago, my car caught on fire. And then about two days, three days after that, yeah, three days after that, I think, uh, my computer died. So uh, it's been a hell of a hell of a last week or two for me. But uh, I've got my old PC, and uh, I think it's going to work. The quality may not be quite as good. I've got to run it on uh, best instead of ultra settings. But uh, here we are, and we're going to get back to the mining outpost like you guys requested in the poll I did on my channel. Uh, make sure you're subscribed to the channel with notifications, all that good stuff, so you know when videos come out. And uh, hopefully we'll be back on schedule now. And uh, watch out for the polls, too, so you can tell me what you want to do next. Now, uh, let's see. First thing we're going to need is a mineral extractor if we're going to do a mine, right? So let's go ahead and get a mineral extractor. And then we'll go ahead and get a supply depot as well. That's going to hold the stuff, allow us to uh, mine more. We need a supply pipe. Might as well get a gas extractor while we're at it. we got a butt ton of technology, right? Well, let's go ahead and learn the freaking battery, I guess. Just in case we need it, and then uh, we'll learn that as well. Uh, I don't need any switches or buttons right now. Let's see, is there anything else I want? Let's go ahead and learn a few of these pieces as well. Uh, let's get a metal floor. And we'll get a door. And let's see what else. Get a ramp. I'm gonna build a little uh, box around this, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I like power doors. And that should do us. Now, the other thing you're going to need is the survey device, which you get from uh, Sharkface over here on the other side in the back of the anomaly. Uh, we've already got that, so uh, just make sure you've got the nanites to purchase that. All right, now that we've got our uh, mineral extractors and supply depots and all that good stuff, as well as our survey device, we got to decide exactly what it is we want to mine. Now, uh, if we want to go for activated indium, we're definitely going to need to get a uh, some hyperdrive upgrades. So we're going to come over here to this guy and uh, get a few of those. Now, I think I've already got the cadmium drive learned. Uh, I picked that up somewhere. I can't remember where, uh, but uh, but I've got that. So let's go ahead and learn the emerald drive. And then we'll learn the indium drive. And the indium drive will take us to the blue stars, which is where you're going to find the activated indium, if that is what we do decide to mine. Anyway, so now that we are all set for that, we can head out on our little adventure. Now, uh, just uh, if you're following along in the series, I have been uh, just messing around. I was uh, expanding my uh, exosuit. As you can see, I learned some more uh, spots. And I also found another exotic. And uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to show that. And I've recorded it, but I'm not sure if that's going to be in the video or not. So let me just show you. Let me just show you. I'm excited about it. Look what I got. I got a freaking tiger squid right there. Bam, I was scrapping ships and uh, just messing around and I got the perfect tiger squid. I love me some tiger squid. Now this one hasn't been upgraded at all yet. I just got it. I haven't even moved the technology yet. But uh, but yeah, tiger squid is what is up. So we will be upgrading him later on. But this little guy is what I have been uh, flying around in. I've gotten some hyperdrive upgrades on this one already so that I could jump further as I was looking around and uh, and doing the doing the things. There it is. All right, let's grab our freighter. One of these days we're gonna have to buy some more uh, frigates as well. Just got the one still. Now the great thing about freighters is um, it can help you get the metals that you need to build the other drives. Now, uh, if we build, if we had indium already we could go or uh, emerald excuse me which we may i'll have to go check 
Uh, if you've got Emerald, you can go straight to the Indium Drive and you can fly to all the others. You don't need all three. It's kind of like the Atlas Passage. You just need the last one to get where you're going. You don't have to keep all three of them there. So uh, let's see what we got in here. I know we have been doing some missions, but I don't remember getting Emerald or uh, anything else back yet, actually. So let's see what we got. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh... Oh, we do have Emerald. Perfect. All right, so uh, let me uh, let me just clean this up real quick. All right, now uh, how much did we need to build the indium drive? We need 250 emerald, and we have 192 emerald. But that is not going to be a problem. All right, so let me show you something. If you don't know this already, we've got chromatic metal. So if you have chromatic metal, uh, you can mix that with emerald or cadmium. Uh, or indium, and it will give you more of it. Which is pretty freaking nifty. So if you take emerald, you can turn that into chromatic metal, right? So two will give you three. But if you throw chromatic metal in on top of it, you get one of those and one of those, and you're going to get two emerald. So you're basically turning chromatic metal into emerald. Pretty freaking sweet. So we'll go ahead and do this. As long as you got one emerald, you're good to go. So send those freighters out on missions and you will be amazed at what you get back. Now, I might have got this from scrapping. I can't remember if I got it back from a frigate mission or from scrapping, but I know I didn't mine it because Bob doesn't do a whole lot of mining. All right, so I went ahead and did it twice just to have some extra. Got 768 emerald. Just basically, like I said, I turned a chromatic metal into emerald by putting it in the refiners together. You can use either a medium or large refiner. And now I go over to my ship and let's get that indium drive installed. Bam. There we go. And uh, we'll throw this back in our freighter. All right, so we are good to go. Now we just got to find a blue star and uh, start the hunt for a spot to throw down this farm. Now you can farm anything you want, uh, really. I mean, if you want to throw, I know lots of people who will make uh, silver, gold, oxygen. Uh, heck, I even know people who do rusted metal and cobalt, just everything. I mean, why not? If that's the kind of thing you do, you do enjoy in the game, then uh, go ahead and do it. So let's see what we can find. All right, now we are looking for a blue star. Is that blue? All right, so this place has indium, but we're looking for activated indium. Activated indium is going to be on extreme planets, so you're looking for uh, basically clouds, right? Because they're going to be pretty stormy. Got indium. Unknown moon. Dead moon. All right, I'm not seeing anything here. Let's go ahead while we're here, though, and uh, grab our upgrade. We'll check and see what they sell as well, see if we got any cool upgrades. Thank you very much. Grab another movement module. Now, you may have noticed I've got uh, a decent amount more nanites as well. I've been doing some scrapping uh, while I've been messing around. Check the multi-tool. I did go hunting an alien multi-tool, but I was not uh, successful. I only found it in a C-class, and then I kind of ran out of time. So we're still looking for that, and uh, we may get to an episode on a multi-tool hunting at some point in the future as well. All right, we're calling the anomaly, get that suit slot, and then we'll be on to the next place. All right, I did definitely scan all of these. Three planets and a moon. On to the next one. Twenty warps. Look at us. Let's see what we got. Oh, we got indium, gold, and sodium, and activated indium. That is a desolate planet. 
Uh, we got frost with activated indium. Yes, yes, I'm awesome. Get out of the way. I'm doing something. Uh, regular indium. Toxic. All right, now ideally we would find a planet that has a decent, um, basically non-storm atmosphere. I'm not seeing that. Let's uh, let's go check this one out real quick and just see what this ultramarine is. I don't even know what that means. I just got dioxide on it. That must mean it's cold. Yeah, it is. All right, so. All right, so we're here. Let's take a look here. Let's make sure I've got my uh, survey device in. We're gonna go into analysis mode and I'm gonna make sure I've got it on mineral survey. So I've got a C spot, uh, C class one right over here, hot spot. We're gonna look for much better than that, but since it's right here, we might as well just kind of show you how this works. And it's not guaranteed to be activated indium, but it is. Uh, it's only 40% though, so we can do much better than that. So let's keep keep moving. Now, if we're going to spend a lot of time here, we definitely are going to want to. Uh, we're definitely going to want to um, get some hazard upgrades for heat. I mean, see, this planet just has indium activated indium laying around right here. So, I mean, we can just grab some of this up right quick. And uh, let me show you kind of why you're why you're looking for activated indium. Let me just grab a little bit of it here. Bam, 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 bam. Give me that. Money, 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 money. So, um, yeah, activated indium is 949 units a piece. So that's about the most expensive material that you can get. I think cobalt's around 400, chlorine's around 600. So 950 for activated indium pretty good that's going to be the most you're going to get per stack of uh of a mineral anyway so i'm gonna do some running around and looking and see what i can find all right i got another hot spot it's a c class as well all right okay so i've got an s class hot spot don't know what it is exactly but uh this is good i found three c's and now i'm on my fourth one and it happens to be an s Hopefully it'll be what we're looking for. Now the reason you're looking for S class is obviously it's gonna be the best. A C class is gonna give you a 40%, B will give you a 60, A will give you 80, and S will give you 100% of the available minerals. And this weather hasn't been too bad either. I haven't even had to recharge my hazard protection once. All right, come on. Activated indium. All right, so uh, you can see right there the density underfoot is 91%. But if I move around, uh, it gets up to, where's 100, 99, I'm only getting 98, 99, there's 99, right there. Oh, I saw it, I had it right there. All right, so that's, that's the absolute center, right? right between these two rocks right here damn all right so we got our marker down i think it's more like right here and uh let's go ahead and start building our base actually before we do that hold on a second because now that i've got this let's go and check out our power now all right so we do have a power hotspot, and it is b class which is you know could be worse. 287 U away. All right, let's go find that power hotspot. All right, so we've got our power hotspot right here. And where's the other one? That's it right there. 287, perfect. Okay, so that is what we're looking for. It's within 300 U. The base computer will give you a circle out 300 U. 
So we're going to put the base computer right between these two spots, and then we'll be able to run power over there to the activated indium farm. Now, it may take you a while to find the right spot that's got both power and uh, activated indium, or you can just use solar panels. I hate solar. So uh, we're going to go with this, and uh, yeah. So here's what I'm going to do. Just so I can mark these easier, I'm just going to slap my, because uh, I've already got a marker there. I'm going to slap this down here. And I'm going to sit in here until the stupid storm is over. All right. Looks like our storm is finally clearing. All right. So let's uh, slap a base computer down. I don't know, roughly in the middle. Right here. Good to me. I'm sure that sentinel won't mind. Claim it. All right, now I've got both of those guys within the scope of my base, so we can start the building. Now, I'm going to do power first because, uh, yeah, I want to come back and rewire it. All right, so electromagnetic generators, we're going to need magnetized ferrite, chromatic metal, and metal plating. All right, let's see if we can find the right place to put these. All right, so right here is what I'm looking at. See how we did. 73%. All right, best we're going to do. So let's see yeah let's go ahead and slap a couple of these down now if you do it just right can actually stack them on top of each other. All right, now the cool thing about the build camera is even though we're in extreme storm, uh, the build camera will keep us protected. So we're gonna keep on building. And we'll make us a cool little tower here. I didn't do a good job with that at all, did I? All right, so let me uh, just delete these. All right. Uh, I got an extra wire in there, but that'll be fine. Let's go ahead and wire this thing over. Now, I am not anywhere close to an expert on wiring. All right, so if you've got tips for this kind of stuff, let me know. There are some really cool designs you can do, I know. So uh, so yeah, let me know what you like to do. Now, one of the things with wiring is you can't go the full distance if you're going, uh, say, 300U. I don't know the exact distance that you can take a wire, but if you run, you'll see it just kind of stops. Uh, so what you'll see me doing here is backing up a little bit, uh, not going past that point, so I have to start over, keeping the dot in front of me the whole time, and then um, stopping it, and then starting a new wire connection point there. All right, that's pretty close. All right, so we got power over here. And uh, now it's time to build our little farm. Isn't that cool looking? I think it's cool looking. All right, so we'll just slap a wall down there and that way we can start a platform. So we can snap a platform to a wall. We can delete the wall. All right, so let's uh, let's get rid of that. 
we'll fix all this later, okay? Let's make sure we got this in the right spot. All right, so that is 99, 95, 6, 7, there's 99. All right, so this is it right, right there. All right, so it's so see if I look around, it's it's actually where my feet are. Okay, so I saw this trick. I learned this from uh, Beeble Bum. Uh, so it's you can what you can do is you can take a um, a wire and you can just snap it right between your legs and snap it right there. There we go. Now that should be it. Right there. All right, so now it's time for the mineral extractor. The mineral extractor is going to be five metal plating and 100 chromatic metal. Good thing we got a butt ton of that. So I should be able to get that right on this here. And if you want to uh, tweak it a little bit to try to line it up. Let's check and see how we did. All right. Yields 100% density. Giggity. All right. So we got it. Now I can take this thing and I can try to stack some more on top of it. Now, you can glitch them on top of each other. I'm not great at that. I'm just going to stack some of them. Uh, I'm not super worried about it. Uh, so let's I mean I'm, I'm pretty happy with the way this is this is coming out so far let's go ahead and power this just to kind of show you how it works right, now these are loud AF pretty cool though So if we go here and we take a look at it, this thing is going to produce 625 per hour at 100% yield. So it will fill up. Only holds 250 though. So that's why we got to have the um, the storage as well to stack on top of it. So we're going to stack a couple of these on top of each other. We're going to build some storage and uh, we will get after it. All right. So now let's see if we can stack some of these bad boys. One, two... Three. All right, now let's uh, connect these guys with a supply pipe. And I've got 24.82 an hour. I'm a little shy. I, I was 100% perfect to be 2,500 an hour. But, I mean, meh. This is Bob we're talking about here, right? Survival Bob. I'm good with that. I'm good with that. So uh, now we can uh, slap some more of these down. Let's go ahead and see what we can do. Now we can make this keep going up or we can go down if we want to, but I mean, I'm not worried about 100% efficiency. All right, so one of the things you'll realize is that if you hook too many of these together, you're going to see the diminishing returns kick in. This came about with Origins, and it uh, kind of nerfed the farms a little bit. So uh, basically what you got to do is you got to have them far enough apart and not connected. Uh, now, I think there is a way that you can stack these and do it, in, but, uh, you know, like I said, but if you put it just far enough away so that it's not touching, then it should work if I can find the right spot. I had it a second ago. Okay, so there we go. That's still getting the max, and now this is getting its own set. So, even though it's run off the same power... So I can look at this and got 250 in there already. It's going to do 
a thousand. So let's go ahead and set up a few more of these. Ah, I got him too close. Son of a bitch. All right, so that one's good. All right, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up three rows of four each on this. Now, you can do much more than this. You can stack them higher. Uh, basically, what I'm trying to do is just build a quick little mining outpost and kind of show you some of the ideas behind it. You can design your own. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to get as close to the center as we can so we can be as efficient as possible. And you stack them on top of each other so that... Uh, you can be as close to that center spot again. Now you can glitch them into each other as well and be damn near perfect, uh, but I'm not going to do glitching in this video. However, there are some great ones out there on them, and I'll try to link one in the description. On an S-Class, if you go more than four, you're going to start getting diminishing returns. So what you see me doing here is trying to keep them just far enough apart that I get the max return without creating diminishing returns. And then we're going to connect the supply lines with the supply depots. And these supply depots are each going to give you a thousand more storage in addition to the 250 that each actual mineral extractor does. Uh, so you can stack as many of these as you can. You still have to be careful not to get them too close so that they uh, think they're connected. So I've got to do a little bit of bobbing and weaving to get everything uh, just right, but uh, it's easy to take stuff down and put it back up again. So uh, test it out and see what works best for you. All right, now when you run low on ferrite dust, uh, one of the cool things you can do is get some with your ship. You find a like a mountainside like this that's got the little little rocks on it. All right, let's see what we. Oh, we killed an animal too. My bad. Oh, look at that. Look at all that. That's ridiculous. Just that quick. Beats the crap out of hand mining, huh? All right, let's finish this up. All right, guys, we have got it just about wrapped up for where I want to do it now. Now, we can certainly expand it some more. Let me show you what we've got. So I built a little teleport pad so I can get here. Uh, and then uh, in here, this will keep me safe from the elements. And I can uh, grab each one of these supply depots. Now, it is the next day. So I should have 10,000 activated indium in each of these. Or, you know, just over a full stack. And I can come grab all three stacks and let it keep doing its thing. So uh, what it's doing, now this isn't the most efficient Indian farm. If you want the most efficient one, go check out Zane's video. He can make you 11 billion uh, every 10 minutes or something crazy, I don't know what it is. It's more money than you'll ever need. Uh, so if you're into that, uh, if you haven't watched Zane's video already, go check it out. Uh, he is the man as far as this goes. I'm just showing you how to do a little basic mounting outpost. And uh, we just happen to do activated Indium because why not, right? So uh, let me show you what I've got. Uh, I basically just kind of built a tower, right? Uh, I stuck it all in here uh, just to clean it up a little bit. I couldn't get a thing there, and that's kind of bugging the crap out of me. Then down here, I've got my entrance. Uh, I've got the original three sets of four, 12 mineral extractors here. Uh, and then I've got uh, another nine on each, because that's uh, these four are going to give me 1,000, and then those nine are going to give me 9,000. So that gives me 10,000 each or a stack on each. And I separated them a little bit, as you can see. Now you can do more. The more supply depots you put in here, uh, the better off you're going to be. You don't have to put these walls around it either. I just, you know, I was just messing around. And I had a butt-ton of ferrite dust, as you saw, uh, from flying around and shooting stuff. So also put a save point here so that if I want to just log in, grab this stuff, hit a save, and then uh, quit, it'll, uh, it'll start all over. And as you can see, uh, this is going to take me just over four hours uh, four, almost four and a half hours to get that. Uh, the most efficient one here in the middle is going to be right at four hours uh, to get the 10,000. So it's going just under 2,500 an hour, which ain't bad, right? 
And uh, so what is a stack of indium worth, you asked? A stack of indium is worth about nine and a half million units. This is our mining outpost. Now you can build these for oxygen uh, with the gas extractors, uh, which uh, you may want to do radon, some of those other gases when you start getting into building some higher end stuff. Uh, but uh, uh, I know people who will build a gold and silver one to refine into platinum and then refine the platinum into nanites. Uh, I'm not into doing that, but uh, if you are, if you like to build and you want to do that, go ahead and knock yourself out. Uh, you could throw some uh, refiners in here and do that uh, if you wanted to have a little nanite farm going. It's passive, but uh, but again, uh, do whatever you want to with this. Let me get out of here because this is driving me effing crazy. Uh, the, the banging, the banging, the banging will drive you nuts. Yeah, so I haven't actually uploaded this base, so no one's going to be able to see it. And the picture of it doesn't show what it is either. But um, because I haven't uploaded this base, it should not be visible for other players. So edit base terrain. Uh, I usually have that on no one. Uh, can delete base parts. I've got that as no one as well. Add base parts. Nobody. Uh, so that will keep it uh, away. That will keep other people from messing around with it. And uh, yeah. So there you go. But if you do want to allow it, like I said, um, you can. A lot of people do, and it's not that big a deal, especially after you're stupid rich and you don't really need it anymore. All right, now, uh, if you are building a, a mine or a mining outpost, I should say, to make stuff to sell for money, then uh, you got to be careful because you will still crash the economy if you sell to one of these trade terminals. And you're also going to probably want to find uh, one that's got a good... Uh, price for what you're selling. So this activated indium is actually negative 6.3. Uh, so that's going to give me 34 million, uh, which, you know, I, I don't care. Um, but you may care. And if you want to look around, you can probably find one that's going to have a plus demand. Now, if I sell it there, it's going to crash the market. So if you don't want to crash the market, just make sure you sell it to an NPC and not one of these trade terminals. The NPCs are going to give you the market price but they're not going to affect the market as far as the supply and demand side of it. They're just going to accept whatever it is and uh, and not change it. So uh, we can go ahead and sell our activated indium and see we've got the same market price of negative 6.3. And we can go ahead and sell that for our 34.5 million units. And we're good to go. Bam. 326 million. So every, uh, you know, every day when I log in, I can go grab that and get the 35 million. That ought to keep me going for a while. Uh, I don't need it more than that. Uh, you'll find yourself, if you make the massive one, that after a day or two, you'll be maxed out on money and you'll just be throwing it away or giving it to people on the anomaly or doing something like that, which is, you know, if that's what you're into, go ahead and knock yourself out. So I think this covers just about everything I wanted to cover for the activated Indian farm or the mining outpost, as I should say. Now, guys, I know there's a lot of stuff I missed, so let me know in the comments down below. How would you do it better? How do you make the farms? What do you farm? I'm really curious because, as I said a couple times in this video, I don't do a whole lot of mining or farming. I, that, I'm more of an explorer. I like to run around and see the things. I don't like to sit on planets, and money's not really a concern for me by the time I get to the point where I can build a mine. So it's just not something I've really gotten into. But I know there's a lot of great uh, techniques out there. I'm gonna link Beeblebum's video in the description. I think he did an excellent guide, very succinct, and it'll get more into the details of why things are the way they are. Uh, so you should definitely check that out as well. And guys, remember, if you're gonna be a Bob, have fun with it. And uh, if you're gonna do some mining, make sure you got some hazard protection, because those storms are bitching. Maybe get some earplugs, earplugs would be good. Earplugs would be good, or turn the volume down, something because it'll drive you nuts after a while, all that banging. <laughs> Guys, we will see you next time. If you like this video, make sure you hit thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel with notifications. We will see you next time. Take care.